these are the components of the transfer port fuel injection system we've got the ECU over here uh, throttle body the fuel injector there's a pressure regulator and then the injection tube going through a nozzle into the transfer port two-stroke oil pump here this is a speed pickup which is mounted on the engine there's a temperature sensor we also have the ability to drive the spark one of the keys to the transfer port fuel injection is how we inject the fuel. Fuel is injected through this nozzle which is connected to the transfer port. The fuel enters the combustion chamber just above the piston where the fuel can be sprayed towards the top of the combustion chamber preventing it from short circuiting out the exhaust port. Here we're looking at the fuel injection on a, an injection tester system. Uh, this is simulating the motion of the engine with a speed pickup pointing back to the ECU. Here's your throttle body which will rev up the electric motor in this case. You can hear the fuel injector making a lot of noise. If we disconnect that, you'll still hear the in, uh, spark noise and you can hear the two-stroke oil pump which you hear running rapidly at wide open throttle because the engine only needs a lot of two-stroke oil with heavy loads. This is software we use to tune and calibrate the transfer port injection system. Careful tuning and calibration can result in significant fuel savings and emissions reductions. This is the Focus Applied Technology GXI Gaseous Transfer Port Injection System on a Philippines tricycle taxi. Let's look down at the engine here. You can see there's the injector, there's the injection nozzle going into the side of the combustion chamber. Um, carburetor has been replaced with a throttle body. There's a two stroke oil pump there. If you look at the back, there is the LPG tank. The green thing over there is the fuel pressure regulator. Obviously that's where the passengers sit over there, that's a Yamaha.